Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are talking non-scale victory. And this is so important, everything's important, but um, something I really wanna to talk to you guys about. So the scale, it can be our best friend or our worst enemy. What I do not want is for you guys to have the scale dictate your day. And what I mean by that is you are not a number on the scale. Like you have hair, but you're not hair. Okay. You're not the number on the scale. You are you. So if you're getting on that scale every day, stop it. Stop it. What I would like is for you to weigh yourself once a week and you have the, um, in the Hot and Healthy Body Journal, you have that once a week. It shows you, I want you to write down what you're weighing. And this is just a guide. The scale is a guide, ladies. Our bodies can change in a day we can hold on to up to seven pounds of water. So depending on your cycle, what you ate, maybe it's salty, um, it, your weight can fluctuate so much. You can get on the scale in the morning and you, you know, and you get on the scale at three o'clock and you're five pounds heavy and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened? I barely ate anything. So just keep that in mind. The scale is just a guide. You know that um, this is a, a good fact just to know, but for every ounce of carbohydrates that you eat, your body holds on to three ounces of water. So you know me, I am not about cutting out carbohydrates. Oh no, no, because that's gonna set you up for metabolic madness. But what I'm trying to get across is that maybe you notice that, oh gee, last night maybe I, I ate a lot of carbs or I had a lot of rice or I had popcorn at the movie theater, which we know is salty. But that might be why you're holding on to some extra water. So just keep that in mind. So now I wanna talk about non-scale victories. And non-scale victories are really what we need to be focusing on and realizing. So I had a client and she was doing really, really great, like really great, and I'm so proud of her. And she said to me, Laura, I, I wasn't so great yesterday. I went out to eat and I had, you know, chicken parmesan sub and I ate the whole thing. I'm like, okay, well, what would you have normally done in the past? She goes, well, I would have eaten the chicken parmesan sub I would have had french fries with it, but this time I ordered broccoli and I probably would have had a couple glasses of um, beer. So that's huge, that's a huge non-scale victory. She went from, from normally ordering a whole bunch of stuff to having that chicken parmesan sandwich with some broccoli, feeling satisfied, feeling good, and then she picked up at the next meal and she kept going. She didn't throw her hands up and go, Oh, I blew it. So I want you guys to see those non-scale victories. And, and they can be, you know, anything. It doesn't always have to be about food. It's about how our clothes are fitting us. You know, I always say, use your, your jeans are such a better gauge than the scale. Can, you know, can we get them over our hips? Can we button them? How are we feeling? You, you also have the feel touch, like, Gee, I feel different. I can feel my body getting a little tighter. I can, I just feel better. Another thing when you start eating hot and healthy is that you're gonna be reducing inflammation. So a non-scale victory might be sleeping better at night. Oh, that's huge because that's when our body detoxes, cleans house. That's when the human growth hormone is in abundance. That's the youth hormone that we generate when we sleep at night. So if we're just sleeping better, that's a great non-scale victory. Sometimes it's waking up in the morning, not having aches and pains. Again, we're reducing the inflammation in our body. It might be that you decided you didn't need to have a candy bar or a piece of chocolate cake when you went out to dinner and you were okay with that small, small non-scale victories. So I'd love for you to share your non-scale victories 
anytime you want. I always like to hear about them. So another thing I want to talk about, because this is a huge, and a lot of people um, ask me this all the time. They're like, Laura, I have these sugar cravings, sugar cravings. Ah, hi, I'm a recovering sugar, sugaraholic. I, they used to call me candy girl, literally. They did when I was um, in high school and college because I always had candy on me. I was a sugar, sugar addict. And it's taken me a long time. So I want to share some of the tricks I use to when I get that sugar craving. And again, go back to the craving video that I have, Hunger versus Cravings. If you haven't watched that one, watch that. But some of the things that I do uh, when, I'm, when I'm craving sugar, I go brush my teeth. Sounds silly, right? But if you go brush your teeth and you have that minty taste in your mouth, the sugar craving just kind of disappears. It will go away. It, it, sometimes we can't always brush our teeth. So have some mint gum or mints on you. Look for the best quality gum you can get without all the chemicals in it. But that's a great thing also. Always have something on hand to beat those cravings. Um, Eating consistently throughout the day. It's not rocket science, but it will keep those cravings and to the curb. It will kick them to the curb because your body will be full of the food and the nutrients it needs, and you stop craving the sugar. It usually takes about three to four days to really get yourself off sugar. But another thing I do if I really, I'm like, no, I really want sugar, I want something, I'll have a lollipop, a lollipop. It's about 30 calories. There's some great organic lollipops out there and it takes care of my sugar craving. It's very low in calories. Boom, I'm done. It's, it's like a non-scale victory. I didn't go out and eat a whole uh, chocolate cake or candy bar, which would have two to 300 calories in it. I had a little lollipop, it was organic. I feel good, boom, done. It's my hashtag, boom, next. And, uh, and, and it's great. So those are some really little tips um, to just fend off those sugar cravings. If you have some tips you wanna share with the group, I would love to hear them. You know, post them, Facebook page, anywhere. Uh, I'd love, love, love to hear what you guys do to fend off your sugar cravings. Okay, that's today's video. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.